On a blog post by Lakshmi Sharath. It is dark and misty, and I can barely see anything in front of me. It is 4 a.m. in the jungles, and the denizens of the forest are slowly waking up. We are a motley crowd of wildlife enthusiasts across the country who do not know each other, and yet we make polite conversation in the early hours, waiting for the elephants. A herd soon gathers, including a couple of calves who totter beside their mothers and insist on meeting the rhinos. I am in Kaziranga National Park on an early morning safari and we are tottering around the forests on an elephant's back. I have often wondered why the tall, dry grass reaching out now to tickle my back is referred to as elephant grass. Cutting through the wilderness at dawn, I realize that some patches have been burned, but we are enveloped by these grasslands as we slowly amble away. It is still dark and the safari feels like a surreal expedition. The silence is mesmerizing, except for the rustle of the grass. And then there is a hush as we come to a standstill. A rhino stares at the elephant. As I reach out for my camera, the silence is shattered. The rhino charges at the elephant who, in turn, storms forward with a loud trumpet, almost throwing all of us down. The Mahout deftly manages the situation, calming the elephant while the rhino, which is rather startled, rushes into the grass and into the mist. We continue waddling around and see a few more rhinos which are not so dramatic. The sun slowly makes an entry, dispelling the mist and the forest looks lush in its warmth. Located on the banks of river Brahmaputra, Kaziranga is home to the one-horned Indian rhino. Over 2,000 rhinos live in this sanctuary. Along with elephants, gorse and several species of birds. The national park is an absolute haven for bird watchers. Many birds, like the Pallas fishing eagle, are lifers for me, which in bird watching parlance means sighting for the first time. We head out in the evening again on a jeep safari and chance upon some more rhinos grazing. My naturalist explains that they are vegetarians. As we negotiate a sharp turn, a tusker ahead of us charges at us. A loud trumpet forces our driver to stop the jeep. Soon we realize that over a dozen elephants are staging a dharna of sorts. Trumpets punctuate the air. The evening sun is setting the sky on fire and even the tall grass was glowing in the light. I want to take in the beauty of the scene. But the elephants have other plans. In a few minutes, they seem to surround us, leaving us with no choice but to retrace our steps and take another route. As we drive back, we realize that this is their domain and we are the intruders. It is ironical that we chase and become the chased.